Hey people, welcome back to Follow That. I hope you are doing well. So, if you are looking to learn how to mod, this is the second in the series. I recommend you watch the first one. And this for the second, we can end up doing craziness like this. That's probably my favourite mod. Okay, so first things, I will cover off just briefly what to do in terms of setting up from the first video. So you're doing a search for script hook 5. It's the simplest way to get started. And there are two key parts to this. One, scripthook5.net, and secondly, scripthook5, both of which you need. So we'll start with scripthook5, which comes with a very basic native trainer, e.g. that mod menu you can see there. What you need to do is go here, and then we'll download those files. Okay, now always when you look at mods, just check the number of downloads it's had, check the number of likes and the ratings, check the comments for any ongoing issues, and of course, disclaimer, disclaimer, mod at your own risk. Don't do it in GTA Online or you can get banned. So once you've got those files, what I'll do is just created a mods file folder just anywhere on your PC, and in there you keep your mods. So these are the three files you get with script hook five, so you copy those, the two DLLs and the ASI, that trainer, that menu, and then you need to put them in this folder, which is where you find the Play GTA 5 application files, so the .xe. Search for that, finding program files, or if you're on Steam, local properties, you'll find it there. Okay, so next, script hook 5. So we net, script hook 5 net. We've got script hook 5 as the basic. Script hook 5 net will let us do some more things, but there's some more installs you have to do. So we've got this Microsoft.NET Framework, Visual C++, Redistributable, and of course you've already got to have Script Hook 5, which we covered off. So let's go through and just have a look at those. It's a bit painful. You might have .NET Framework and ready and installed. Just follow the link there in the description. Make sure you're on the Microsoft site. Download it. Run it. Second one is that Visual C++ Distributable. So the sixth four is this file here. Again, make sure you read everything, check it, install it, make sure you're on Microsoft. So get those two up and running. So now we've got Script Hook 5, we've got Visual Studio, and we've got the framework that's required, the .NET framework. So now we're in a position where we can download Script Hook files. So you don't need the license or the README, but you need this collection of ASIs, config, XML doc. So again, we copy those into the folder where the .exe file is for GTA, copy and paste them in. There we go, it's these files, just a reminder, and they go in that directory, it'll run with script hook 5. Okay, now, so we're up and running script hook 5. I'm going to choose here, probably my favourite mod at the moment, <laughs> the traffic weapon modernizer. Um, so again with these, just check the ratings, check what the developers on there. So here it says you need script at 5, script at 5.net, and you need to create a scripts folder. Now I got this wrong initially, so hope this this helps. So within your XE folder, so this location, create your own scripts folder. So there's the GTA 5 XE. I've created that scripts folder. From here, I'm just going to copy, I've copied these two files from that mod, random vehicles DLL and the random vehicles config. And then there we are. So there we have the traffic weaponizer, which basically randomizes all vehicles, all pedestrians are armed, and you end up with just this total, total chaos and nonsense. So I hope that was helpful you explaining of so include everything in the description try and help you out and i hope i made it as simple as possible I'm trying to go quickly but not too quickly so good luck and have a lot of fun modding and i will speak to you soon take care